Hello guys, welcome to Hans Kerr Academy with another tutorial. Today in this tutorial we will be learning about the CFD analysis for a circular disc that is placed perpendicular to the flow of air or the flow of any fluid. So for the purpose we will be calculating the velocity against the Reynolds number and then we will be applying that in the SOLIDWORKS flow simulation. For the same purpose we we have made uh, this chart which states the density Reynolds number against the velocity. So we have calculated the velocity against the particular Reynolds numbers and we will be studying the coefficient of drag in the SOLIDWORKS flow simulation and we will compare the drag coefficient with this chart which is a theoretical chart based and we will be comparing those results with this okay and we will, we will verify that to which extent the solid works flow simulation is giving us an accurate results so to move on we are we have already done this calculation right and now we will set up the case study in solid works flow simulation uh, we will make we will making a disc of 8.25 8.25 inches in diameter that can be verified that's 8.25 inches and you can keep the thickness about 0 0.70 inches right so these are the dimension of the discs which we will be staining so far now you now to move ahead we will start with the flow simulation we'll start the wizard and the project name will be Reynolds number RE10 we will be studying Reynolds number 10 click next we are studying external steady and we will add gases that's air which will, be the, which will be the working fluid we leave them as a default and the velocity as the velocity direction we will be keeping it perpendicular to the disk so we will at the x direction velocity as we are studying the Reynolds number 10 so we will give the velocity that's point triple oh seven zero sorry sorry so we copy this value okay so we cannot paste it here so we will have to write it down that's point triple zero seven seven zero to the zero double two four zero double two four so this is the value of the velocity we'll click finish now okay and uh, now we have to plot some goals equation goals right we'll have to insert the global goals we'll need the drag force this is the drag force right and uh, now we'll, we'll have to insert an equation goal which will with the help of it we will find the drag coefficient so let's say an equation goal and uh, we will start by the drag force because we know that the f formula for the drag coefficient is drag force multiplied by 2 divided by a rho into velocity square into area right so this will be multiplied by 2 close them in parenthesis now we will be dividing it by density density is 1.23 so then again start the parenthesis 1.23 is the density into velocity square velocity will be point triple point triple zero seven oh two double four I guess Yep, like this. And uh, raised to power two. That's the square of the velocity, and then into the area. Area area will be three point one four. Okay. You can simply put the pi value here. Pi r square into r square. The radius will now add the value of the radius here now this is the radius this is in meters basically 
that's 4.125 inches, which is 0.104.75 meters. That's pi. Yeah. So the area is pi r square. Right? So now we we'll close into parentheses. It's a row into velocity square into pi r square area, right? Yep. Uh, sorry. So it, th this is this is diameter. Yes, where is it? Let me check. Uh, so this is the area pi r square, right? So uh, we will name this equation of goal one as drag coefficient, and we will click on it, and we will give it unitless because drag coefficient is a unit. There will no units, right? So uh, the formula is completed now, and we will now click OK. So it says an invalid expression. So let us check what's the problem here. Pi r square. This is in parentheses. So uh, we have plotted. We have uh, we have uh, inserted the equation goal, and now we will go into the general settings and uh, check the velocity. Triple zero seven four two double four. Right. Here is the velocity. Fluids in the air. Here is this type is external. Okay. Check the formula again. This is fine. Into three into velocity square into pi r square. Okay. Now we, we we have to see the global mesh. Yeah, this is fine. And now we should run the simulation at null number ten, right? So let's go. Let's go run the simulation. So till it completes. We have to wait. We have to wait a while till it completes. So, guys, the result is converged, and we got the value of 4.1236. Let's just let's just compare this with the chart. So, this is the Reynolds number 10 as we go up. Wow! So, it's almost giving us an accurate value of 4.1. So, this is this is this is somehow good. Yeah, this is actually great. Almost giving us the accurate value. So we'll cross this. So it means that in number 10, it's giving us a drag coefficient of 4.1 something, 4.1. Right? Now we'll find the renal numbers at 100. So for that, we need to clone this project. We will give it RE 100. Right, and then respectively, we will change the velocity value like this. In the general settings, you have to change the value of the velocity. Okay, right. So, we change the values now. We will run the simulation again and let's see. A new calculation. One. Oh yeah. 
have to wait for a while. So guys, the case study is completed and uh, we got a drag coefficient of 1.4. So let's check it out. It is the uh, the hundred at, at hundred logs number. Wow, it's it's almost like kind of accurate. It's it's yeah, it's like 1.4. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's almost accurate. So, so so far we are we are doing great. Now we will clone the project and go for analysis number thousand. Right. So there we have to change the velocity values. Okay, now we will again run the simulation for a thousand rounds number. We are still waiting for the value to be calculated. So guys, the value is solvers is finished and the value is converged and we got the value of 1.2. So let's check in the chart. Yeah, it's still still giving us the same value, like 1.2 something, and so far it's good. So the value is the value is good. Now we'll go and we will we'll steady uh, in the higher Reynolds number that's 10,000. So guys, we will move ahead for the another, another steady for the 10,000 Reynolds number, and we'll verify the results. For that, we need to clone this. 10,000. We have changed the velocity value. It will become 0.7. That will become 0.7. <coughs> and we have to change the velocity value here also. That will become 0.7. Now we are ready to run a, another simulation. And uh, click on the run button, new calculation, run. <coughs> then we have to wait till the result is converged. So guys, the result is converged and uh, let's check it out. If the, so I at 10,000 Reynolds number, the value is still accurate. So, so guys, by checking out this, these results, we came to know that the drag coefficient of a circular disk that is placed perpendicular to the flow direction of the fluid uh, in solid works at at least 10,000 Reynolds number, we are getting an accurate value. So, I uh, hope you like the tutorial. Uh, now we plot the the result graphs, okay, of all these, and uh, I, I will just show you to, to how to plot, and then we can plot all all of them in the same manner. Let's plot the the, the plots velocity plot for the Reynolds number ten thousand. We'll plot the flow trajectories. Select number of lines. That's two hundred. Now we can select the surfaces. Okay, and that's it. We should select lines with arrows. Now we click OK. So uh, the prop is generating the uh, uh, lines and arrows, right? Look at look at this. Wow. Now. We will hide this uh, computational domain, and we can we can animate these lines. Clicking play.
so this is back to Sunil. I don't know why it's not plotting in a good way, but still, uh, this is the same. This is the thing, and uh, you can hide this. You can have a surface plot or cut plots. Cut plots. You can select a plane. Okay, the front plane. We need contours, we need velocities. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so you can see the cut, cut plot. And this is the velocity distribution, right? So, here we, we, have, we have the higher velocity region, and as we go, velocity is decreased, right? So, this is how it goes. Let's hide this. And let's go to the photo jet trees. Previously, we, we draw the pressure. Now we will change it to velocity. Click OK. Let's play it again. I don't know what's the problem, but it should. It's playing very fast. Still. Okay, let's try doing it uh, at a lower Reynolds number. Maybe that's the case. At, at 100, okay. So we load the results. Sorry. And let's go to the trajectories. Insert trajectories. Surfaces. Okay, lines and arrows, Velo sorry, velocity, and 200 lines. Okay, let's play the animation. So this is how the velocity distribution is, and uh, you can play, you can plot the cut plots and everything. So this is how it goes, guys. I hope you like the tutorial, and if you uh, if you uh, want any further assistance, you can leave uh, your queries in the comment section below. I hope you like the tool again. Please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Peace out.